Hello, this is Dan. In this video tutorial, I'm going to show you how to do something that I have found difficult to do, even though it is simple. I tried looking for other videos that showed me how to do this, but I just couldn't find something that was easy enough to follow and that did exactly what I wanted. I'm going to show you how to create rounded corners on photos with Photoshop. Now, one of the things that I could not find was not only the corners. This is a regular photo of a team that I work with. And you can see here it's just a regular photo. It's got squared corners. A lot of people want to show you how to make these round corners. So if you look here, let me zoom in on the picture. Let me zoom in here. So you can see here the rounded corners. What I like to do, here's, here's a, the same photo. Let me get this larger. You really can't see it here. It has white edges around the corner. So let me, let me scroll up here. You can't, it's very difficult to see it on this photo. There you can see it around the bottom. Or, easier to see, you can see there's the red edges around the corner. So I couldn't really find anyone that I could follow or that would make it easy to see how to do this. So I'm going to show you how to do this. So I'm going to open up Photoshop. I'm using Photoshop CC. Adobe Photoshop CC. So what we're going to do, and it's very simple, we're going to open up our file and I have it right here. It's called Team. So here's my file. Now one thing you need to know is that if you use an original photography usually the file size would be very large so your radius of your corners would have to be very large to even show up so as you can see I'm gonna go here to image this is my picture and the first thing I want to do is go over here to the background layer I want to double click on it it's gonna create a layer you can name it whatever you want I'm just gonna leave it like it is now you can edit it if it says background there's a few things you can do but you can't do what we're wanting to do and that's what I found really difficult to find out it took me a while to find out that if you don't make this a layer by clicking on it then it's gonna be very difficult to do everything you want to do alright so now that we've done that we're gonna go up here to image at the top toolbar and we're going to go to image size now you can see here the original size is 4,000 by 3,000. That is a huge, huge picture for the internet. Uh, number one, your data size would be very large. And number two, if you need a 600 by 400 picture, all it's going to do, it will make it cleaner and crisper if you really need high detailed. But we're going to, just for this tutorial, we're going to make this 400. and it should if you have it locked here keep the aspects so we're gonna say okay now what that does and again I couldn't find anywhere that anyone could show me look how small the picture is very difficult to work with so we're gonna go down here to the bottom left and you can see if you click on it you can change the size of the photograph to you're not changing the actual size you're just zooming in on it so I'm gonna just make it 225 so there you go well let's make it just a little bit less. Let's make it uh, 125. So there's a nice size picture. So what you want to do is you want to click on this tool right here. This is your your rectangle tool. You want to click on rounded rectangle tool. That's what I had it on. And you want to look up here. If you just opened up Photoshop, it may be set for shape. If you wanted to take the middle away, that would be fine. But you want to set it for path and so that it will do what we want to do and then I like a radius of 20 the larger your picture is the bigger your radiuses need to be if you want it that way so I like 20 so what we're gonna do is we're gonna simply go up here to layer and we're gonna click on we're gonna highlight vector mask and then click on reveal all and you can see over here on the on the layers that it has created a, a vest vector layer now sometimes it'll come out it will not be highlighted you need to make sure both of these are highlighted this one the picture and the vector 
then we make sure that our tool here, our rounded rectangle tool is chosen and we're going to start up here in the corner whatever distance you want away I like to put my my arrow key there at the corner and kind of meet the corner so that I know that once I go to the bottom right and do the same it'll look equal so I'm just gonna I'm gonna click and I'm gonna drag all the way down here to this and you can make it whatever you want now at this point if I saved it you can see here how it has transparency on the outside and that's what most people want and then you would be done you just go up here to file save as and you want to save it as a instead of Photoshop save it as a PNG and that will keep your aspect you know with this this PNG that's basically transparent even though this whole square is the file these curved edges are transparent so on your website they'll come out as looking like this rounded tool now like I said what I want to do is then create a color border around that curve so what we're gonna do is we're gonna go back over here to our layers and we're gonna double click and that brings up our layer style okay so I just like this I went over here in this area not on one of these but over here I double click and that brings up our layer style and you want to go over to stroke and click on stroke and then once you click on the stroke it may bring this up sometimes I find that it doesn't so if you click on stroke you'll see over here it has created that for you but if it doesn't bring you this menu over here this actual stroke information you just want to click on the word stroke now right here the size will change you can see on the screen over here the thickness of that that border around there so you can have it completely black and you would actually have a square again um, but I'm gonna I'm gonna zoom it down if I go to um, well, you, whatever you like you can make it really thin you know or you can make it thick it doesn't matter whatever you like and you can position it on the outside or on the inside you can see how there it position on the inside or in the center so I like to position it on the outside so that I know all my photos are the same so you just want to do whatever you like and then your your opacity would be if you want it somewhat transparent like if you didn't want it solid black um, you can fool around with that if you want now in the color you can choose pattern gradient I like color you go right here to the color and a lot of times I like to choose white which you'll notice here I've got it pretty close to the top corner but 255, 255, 255 is white or all F's. And, and again, also on the black, it's all zeros. If you want to choose something different, let's click on there. And you can see over here, it's actually choosing, showing you the color you've chosen. You can also click on, let's say you really like this color on his leg. You can click on that and see it changes it. Or you can, that's with the eyedropper. If you pull your mouse out from here, and you pull it out and you can click on this gentleman's shirt you can see you know if you really like something like this floor you see it change color or this wall or this whatever you like it's it's, it's up to you um, I'm gonna go back here and you can change pretty much any color you want and just choose it there it is um, again I like to put the white around it because a lot of times I'll have a black background and then the white will show up very well and it'll look like a real nice feature but this will show you how basically you can choose any color to make this colored border so you press OK and this is very important don't make this mistake don't press cancel it'll just erase everything you've done press OK and there you can see nice border around there and it has a transparent curved outline and then from there you can press save as and always save it as a PNG so that those corners are transparent alright so thanks for watching the video if you have a comment please leave it in the comment field give me a likes up and subscribe if you like anyway have a good day YouTube